Gerard Cassidy, head of U.S. Bank Equity Strategy at RBC Capital Markets, joins us now to break down what is to come for the sector. Gerard, higher interest rates, good for the banks, sure, but with worries about recession and a yield curve that is inverted, can you own these companies in this environment? I think you can, Sarah, and, and you showed a very good graphic there that the stocks have struggled this year, no doubt about it. And it's because of what you just identified, the concerns of about a recession and the likelihood that in a recession credit costs go up. But we saw in the FDIC numbers today some remarkable industry trends. The net interest margin for the industry this quarter went up to about 2.75 percent from 2.57. We're going to see that happen again in the third quarter. So as I think, Sarah, what people are seeing is rising rates, short-term rates. It's not so much the yield curve. It's the short end of the curve. As that goes up, the banks are seeing their net interest revenue growth grow dramatically, and that's going to help them manage through any higher credit costs. If that's the case, why is J.P. Morgan down? I'm looking at the year-to-date now. It's, it's like almost 30 per, 25 percent or so, 30 percent. It's been such an underperformer. They benefit from those higher margins and higher revenues, don't they? Yeah, no, good point, Sarah. No, you're absolutely right. But what you have to remember with J.P. Morgan and Bank America or Citigroup, these are diversified revenue companies, and they have very big investment banking businesses. And as you know, the investment banking business this year has been very, very weak. But if you look at the pure lenders, the regional banks, the key corp, the fifth third, these are the ones that should benefit more so because they drive more of the revenue from lending. But you're right, the, the big investment banks, the asset managers, the wealth managers, anybody that's driving fee revenue from the financial markets, they've, they've struggled this year. And if we're right, the Fed's going to continue to raise rates until the end of the year. These traditional regional banks are going to be big beneficiaries, especially when it comes to their deposit costs, which are going to not go up as much as their asset yields. It's very windy there, Gerard. I don't know where you are, but a windy shot. I'm John Spallanzani here, Miller Valley. You know, which which names in the bank space do you like? Well, he's in he's in the eye of the Jamie Dimon hurricane. It seems like, but uh, I think that if we don't go into a hurricane, like Jamie Dimon says, and we and let's say it's a tropical storm, which it could be over there. Which Jamie these, did say that could happen. Yeah. To be fair. So again, if we don't have, if if a recession's priced, the bank stocks are down some. You know, as you said, thirty percent, twenty percent. Signature Bank is down forty-five percent. Uh, we see T row prices down like thirty percent. Capital One Financial down thirty percent. So we've already seen the market discounting the fact that things are slowing, possible recessions, seventy-five percent. I think that Bank of America, obviously. We're talking blue chip. That's blue chip, the ultimate. Right? They, all, they have, they have, uh, they they obviously have great mortgage originations. Uh, the you know six percent. How could you not make money when mortgage rates are six percent and you're and and the well, Fed funds are so? Well, because they fall off. Demand falls off a cliff. Well, not. But you're still getting that whole. You're getting that margin, right? So you're getting. You're paying deposits. I, I think the five-year CDs are still lower than you know. It's two percent, two and a half percent. You're lending mortgages. You know, even if you're lending at four, five, six. Let's uh, let's just. For, for argument's sake, that's a, that's a big spread. Coupled with the fact that the market is below 4,000, again, you know, the market's discounted a lot. If, if we see uh, market continue to, to go higher, right, if the pain trade is higher, then all these financials are going to rally along with the, with, the, with the economy and the market. I do, I do think it's interesting that Diamond warned of a hurricane and, and at Bank of America, you know, Brian Moynihan has been saying the consumer's in great shape. It really, it's been yeah. kind of a disconnect. So, Gerard, what are what are some of the favorites there? You were starting to distinguish between regional lenders. You can always go into categories: regional versus the big bulge bracket banks like a J.P. Morgan, or some of the the more exposed to trading banks like a Morgan Stanley or Goldman Sachs. What parts of the financial universe do you like? Sarah, and you put your thumb right on it because you really do have to break them up by the type of bank they are. So if you go to the banks, what I call the right side of the balance sheet, we haven't had to look at the deposit mix of a bank for 15 years because for the last 15 years, the rates have been zero to 25 basis points, with the exception of 2017 and 18. Let's assume a Fed funds rate in the spring of next year is four, four to quarter percent, put a three percent um, you know, margin on top of that for a prime rate loan. So regional banks that can be lending at six, seven percent commercial loans, they're going to be funding that with deposits that cost less than one percent. 
So it's the regional banks, I think, you're going to find are going to be the beneficiaries of this interest rate environment, assuming we don't go into that hurricane. And if we have a soft landing or a very shallow recession, the credit picture for the banks were going into this in a very healthy position, and the spreads are going to be able to, I think, manage any higher costs on credit. I mean, we may get another 75 basis point increase in Fed funds rate this month, and you throw that on the 275s we just uh, received, these spreads are going higher. And that's what I think the market underappreciated. But recently, the banks are, you know, outperforming on a relative basis in the last four to six weeks. And I would suggest people are recognizing these spreads are really widening out. Gerard Cassidy, we will, we will leave it there. Don't blow Thank away. You.